All right, uh, it's time to look at the culture across the country. We have this segment we call it the My Culture. I absolutely love this one. And this week, we take you to uh, Busia County, uh, where a cultural treasure was discovered and gazetted as a national monument uh, 10 years ago. The Kakapel National Monument, located in Teso North, offers a rare glimpse into ancient human history and culture. Join us as we explore the monument, home to 4,000-year-old caves and ancient rock art that tell the stories of a bygone era. 4,000 is a long time. Yeah. <laughs> It sits on a mountain in Teso North Busia County and is home to three ancient caves, each one steeped in the rich history of our ancestors. These caves are believed to date back 4,000 years based on archaeological evidence. Kakapal National Monument was gazetted by the Kenyan government in 2004. Inside the caves, the passage of time is frozen. Soot marks on the walls offer evidence that these ancient inhabitants could cook, surviving the harsh environment. Caves have got uh, evidence of life in them. One, we have in cave one, we have uh, uh, soot on the wall of the rock shelter. We have pottery shards on the ground of the, ca uh, the, the cave. We also have grinding stones, which were excavated during archaeological excavation some time back. A cross carved on the cave wall reveals that these early dwellers not only lived here but worshipped too, a spiritual practice that continues to this day with local visitors coming to the caves for prayer. In cave 3 we have a cross engraving. That cross engraving is not yet dated, but it attracts a lot of Christians to undertake their prayers in those caves. The rock art is well preserved, intricate and stunning. These artistic renderings reveal that the Chua people revered the animals around them, paying homage to the natural world in ways that speak to their way of life. Forms of animals, the cattle forms as you have just seen on the panel, that those are some of the animals that were believed to be around this site. The elephant, the image of elephant is there, and the giraffe is there. Probably those are the animals that were targeted during that time. The caves also offer a sense of adventure for visitors. Even in daylight, darkness clocks the interiors, adding a mysterious and thrilling atmosphere. For hiking enthusiasts, Kekapel is a dream come true. The steep, rocky trail lead up to stunning vistas. From the summit of this rugged terrain, one can get a clear view of Tororo Mountain, Mount Elgon and Bongoma, and the far-reaching landscapes of Malaba and Busia. The journey through the mountain is not just a physical adventure, but also a cultural one. Kakapel National Monument is more than just an archaeological site. It's a cultural heartland for the Teso community. We have concentric circles believed to be there, uh, uh, done during the rain season. Others are done during the dry season. <laughs> All to mean there was a period of rain making during that early time. The site houses a museum showcasing traditional artifacts, preserving the community's heritage for generations to come. Schools, colleges and tourists from both Kenya and abroad frequent the monument, drawn to its unique combination of history, art and natural beauty. For the Teso people, Kakapel is a sacred site, a living monument that continues to hold spiritual and cultural significance. It serves as a reminder of their rich history and deep connection to the land, a heritage they continue to cherish and uphold. We normally conduct a cultural festival every 26th of December, and which attracts a lot of crowd from different uh, regions. Even within uh, the boundary, we have our communities coming to see what the Tesos normally uh, do. Kakapel is not just a relic of the past. It's a vibrant cultural symbol that continues to attract and inspire. From ancient rock paintings to scenic hikes, this national monument 
offers a glimpse into a world thousands of years old, making it a must-visit destination for anyone seeking adventure, history, and a deeper understanding of our shared culture and heritage. Jackie Wambiru, My Culture.